Let's look at some of the reactions. Um, all right, let's look at this tweet. Let's be charitable. Let's be charitable. See if we could steal man these people. Whew. Okay. This lady is saying this lady didn't have a job. Finally, me. Oh, maybe this lady knows something about Islam because unlike the other people, uh, they don't even have a job. Rihanna is messed up for using a song with a hadith in it to play at a lingerie. She capitalized that show. Well, I have to be careful. Uh, what is up with artists using Islam as an aesthetic? Have some respect, okay? Are there any arguments here for why this is disrespectful? Or is it just claim? As a Muslim, no words can describe how disappointed I am with Rihanna for letting her models dance to hadith. Hadiths are the sacred words of our prophet. You can't just use it for your lingerie show. Disgusting and extremely disrespectful. Okay, here's another person. The fact that it's Rihanna's second time using the hadith is even worse. It's not the second time. This is you moron. This is the art. This is who is this? Is it the second? It's not the second time. This is not Rihanna. This is the dude, guys. This is Kuchu, Kuku, Kuku Chuko. This is not Rihanna. What are you doing? Oh no, it was. Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. But the tweet is not saying that. The article is saying that. Oh no, never mind. Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. Kuchu ex Kuchu did say this is 2017 tweet and it was used in Rihanna's. Okay, so why did it why did it not cause a lot of butt hurt back then? This level of butt hurt. Maybe it just went unnoticed by most people back then. Many people, wait a minute. So if this was used by Rihanna and something else in 2017, oh, I know why. Because Maybe because this was just a catwalk. It was just a catwalk, and this is like a lingerie show, and people were doubly butthurt because sexy is bad. Sexy is bad, guys. Sexy is bad. Sexy is not bad. I'm just kidding. Others, okay, here's another one. Oh, this guy, these people are we're going and digging. Kowalski, these people are Islamic Kowalski, right? So they're going out and going back and trying to dig dirt and be like, oh my God, look at this. I found in 2017 she did this. I found in 2013 she did this. What did she do in 2013? Let's see. Just found out in October 2013, Rihanna also posed for inappropriate photos in front of a mosque. Look at it. She capitalized mosque. Like she's yelling, yeah, mosque. Basically, a church for Muslims. Oh, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> oh, thank you for telling us what a mosque is, Afra. But let's see how inappropriate. Wow, guys, look at this. Look how, let's see how inappropriate it was, was. Where is this? Where is that tweet? Basically, a church, church for Muslims. So this lady is not even Muslim, and she's getting offended on behalf of Muslims? Look at this. Oh my God, so inappropriate. Guys, what's that inappropriate about this? Can somebody educate me? Educate me. What is inappropriate about this? I don't get it. Wow, so wrong. Oh, this is actually kind of sexy. Ryan asked to leave. Uh, yeah, this is nice. I like this. Yeah, guys, this is what... I've this the thing that makes religious people get lose their mind the most is when you have something sacred and some here look at this this is here let me show you the formula okay this is the this is this is what causes the greatest amount of butt hurt something they ha hold sacred something sexy butt hurt astronomical butt hurt Okay, this is why when I desecrated the Quran, I got a flat fraction of the butt hurt that I got when I took the uh, the Kaaba and replaced the black drapes with rainbow 
the LGBT flag. I made rainbow, the rainbow, search for the rainbow Kaba, search for that. I made that. They hated it. I had to move. The police got involved. I had to change address. That's how bad it got. Um, okay. Oh, she's taking, oh, look at Coco, look at this artist, oh, look at this. I want to deeply apologize for the offense caused by the vocal samples used in my song, Doom. The song was created using samples from Bailey funk tracks I found online. Wow, so she used like a something, there's like multiple degrees of separation from the actual Islamic hadith. At the time, I was not aware that these samples used the text from an Islamic hadith. I take full responsibility for the fact I did not research these words properly. I want to thank those of you who have taken the time to explain this to me. We have been in the process of having the song urgently removed from all streaming platforms. Guys, can somebody tell me they saved the song? I really kind of like the song. I really did like the song. I'm actually now, for some reason, into electronic versions of the recitations of the Quran and Hadith. I don't know why, but now I'm, I'm into that now. I don't know why, I don't know what happened to me, but I'm into that now. Um, I saw, I saw like you guys know that for the, for the sake of, for the sake of you guys, I actually consume a lot of content from Muslim YouTubers uh, just to know what they're saying these days. Um, what they're talking about, and some of them are saying, "Oh, this is obviously this was intentional. There's the because there's always a conspiracy in the media. There's like the people that are controlling the pulling the strings. The media is like satanic, and they're like they have other con con uh, conspiracy theories, and they're trying to find ways to like attack Islam, and this is just part of that. So they're like obviously, obviously, and there are some." Uh, very tiny minority, I like saying, very small minority of YouTube content, Islam Muslim content creators, which I appreciate that was there, right? I have to give them credit. They were like, guys, let's be charitable. Uh, let's not assume the worst. Maybe they made a mistake. They keep bringing up that hadith of Muhammad who was charitable to that guy that peed in the mosque. You guys know that story? Some dude came and peed in the mosque. And people wanted to like kill him or something. And Muhammad was like, no, no, maybe he has like a, you you know, some problems and he can't control himself. Just let him, you know, you know. So they bring up that like, oh, we need to be charitable. So there's that going on, right? So yeah, we need to acknowledge that that exists.